So, Champagne d'Argent's uh, were originally brought to America back in the 1600s. They were bred in, I believe, early 200s. And then they were brought to the U.S. And uh, they were brought here from France, Champlain, France, which is where they were, the, the breed was developed. And they um, basically started blowing up. They were originally called the French Silver, as you could tell, as they silver. Uh, Champagne d'Argent's are born dark chocolate. Uh, they're not black. Nothing, no mammal in the world that I know of has black fur. They have dark chocolate. They may look black, but if you put them in the right light, you will see that they are brown. Um, and as they age, they silver. These are gems, babies. And we call her gem because they have these little stripes on their forehead, as she did when she was a baby. Um, and they are so different. Like, I've never seen a rabbit that changes colors like this, except for the, uh, the cottontail. Uh, the northern, uh, northern U U.S. or northern North America and cottontail will change colors in the winter. And these guys change colors as they grow, but they stay silvery white, almost like mama. But each one is, has their own individual pattern, and they're all beautiful in their own way. I absolutely love Champagne d'Argent's. They have a very thick coated fur which is ideal for uh, northern climates because up here it's below zero, probably about six months, but maybe five to six months a year. So these guys are awesome in the winter and they do not die because of the cold. I've had it negative 25, I think it was this year. And all of my babies, all of my rab, my, once they get a, a bond, once they get about a week old, uh, if they survive that long, they will live through any type of temperature with really nothing, no hay, no nothing to keep the insulation to keep them warm. But uh, Champagne d'Argent's do suffer in the hot summer. So if you live on the West Coast of the United States, uh, these guys would not be preferable. You could probably breed them uh, to be warm tolerant. Uh, just let them die and see which ones live and then just breed those guys until you get some good composition um, and good good meat rabbit. But uh, it's not ideal for uh, hot climates. But these are Champagne d'Argent's. And I just thought I would like to share the beautiful colors and patterns that they produce as they grow. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and hit the like button. Um, and if you don't, well, thank you for visiting. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Oh, and just FYI, in case you were wondering, these guys are six weeks old. They're almost ready to be weaned. Two more weeks, and then I will be weaning them, and I'll be putting them in their own hutches, males and females separate. But these are the Champagne d'Argent's. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.